Wildly enough, if you don't dip your toe in the water with some carbohydrates now and then when you're doing keto, you could actually be doing yourself a little bit of damage. Not like the literal damage you're thinking, but you might be getting yourself stuck in a rut. And I think I have the most clear analogy that I could possibly provide. And I figured this analogy out when I was talking with a client of mine and it just kind of came out of my mouth and it made perfect sense. So I want to share it with you. Look at when you are doing keto, your body gets fat adapted. When you are doing a carbohydrate rich diet, your body gets carb adapted. Unfortunately, we don't really get the luxury of being equally adapted. We can't be equally carb adapted and equally fat adapted. We, we kind of skew one way or the other a little bit. But I encourage you to think of it like a train track. And on this train track, you can go fork to the left or you can fork to the right when it comes to a Y. And you know how there's those little like levers that you pull to, or you don't pull them, but the guy driving the train pulls them. It'd be cool if they let you pull it. I wish I could pull it, but pull the lever that drives the train the other direction or, or you know, switches the track, right? Well, that's kind of how it is with glucose metabolism versus fat metabolism. So let me explain that. But first, uh, please do hit the red subscribe button and then also turn on those notifications so you never miss a beat. And then I wanna extend a huge thank you and special offer for Thrive Market. Thrive Market, online membership-based grocery store. I talk about them like at least five times a week on my channel. They are an online membership-based grocery store, so they deliver like your keto goods and all that stuff right to your doorstep. And if you use that link down below, there's some really cool stuff that you can get your hands on, especially because you're watching it through my video. So that way you can try out Thrive Market, get some groceries delivered to your doorstep, stop having to waste your time going to the grocery store. Anyhow, it's super cool, super easy, super affordable, and I highly recommend it. So please do use that link down below for Thrive Market. Okay, so we're back to the train track here. If you are using glucose, let's pretend the glucose track goes to the left and the fat track goes to the right. So in your keto, your train is going to the right. Well, you are burning glucose and you just now decided that you wanna start going on the ketogenic diet and you wanna start getting kind of fat adapted. So you get out and you pull that lever to try to move the train track over to the right, but it's really rusty. And this is exactly how it is, okay? You have to force it and pull 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 it, pull it, pull it. And then finally it frees up and moves to the right and you're fat adapted. You're burning fat for fuel. You're no longer burning glucose for fuel, okay? Well, that's great. You had to work really hard in the beginning, but now you're there. You're fat adapted, okay? But now you've been enjoying fat adaptation. You feel good. You feel like you're you know, on keto. Everything's working fine. You know, I'm never going back to carbs ever again, ever again, okay? But then it comes time to have some carbs. So you do because it's a cheap meal or because it's Thanksgiving or whatever. Well, you have those carbs and you feel like garbage, utter just crud. Why? Because you are now glucose intolerant. If you don't use it, you lose it. And that is how our mechanisms and machinery work in our body. So you've become a one trick pony, but now you're a one trick pony going to the right instead of to the left. There's no good or bad here, right? It's just, that's the way it is. So you get out and you say, I gotta work really hard and I gotta pull this lever back so you can start using glucose again. And then you, you do it. So you're back to using glucose again. But that would imply that you'd have to stay using glucose if you wanna stay to that direction. The trick is, to get yourself fat adapted as your primary and then use that lever now and then so that it doesn't get rusted up in one direction. Because if you go fat adapted and you go to the right and your train's going to the right and occasionally you say, I'm gonna have some carbs and do this right, you get a chance to pull that lever, your body gets to test the waters with its mitochondrial machinery and its different enzyme transporters and its different fat transporters and all this stuff Okay, you don't, you're not glucose intolerant at this point because every once in a while you put a little WD-40 on that lever so that if you want to, you can flip back and forth, but you still have your predominant. It's like having a primary residence and a secondary residence. You've got your primary home that you file your taxes with and your primary home where you know, all your primary mail comes and then maybe you have a second home, but you still take care of that second home and visit it now and then so it doesn't get cobwebs, right? Same kind of thing. You still visit La La Land with carbohydrates. You don't just like let it go and rust 
because otherwise when you do have carbohydrates that is why you're going to feel like garbage quite frankly you should only feel like garbage if you're eating garbage food carbohydrates are not garbage we just need to eat the right ones and at the right time when i personally eat carbohydrates i feel decent because i'm choosing the right ones but my body is also expecting them now and then so i don't lack the machinery to process them so i hope this painted a very clear picture of what metabolic flexibility sincerely is and that way you can get the most out of life not just weight loss see you tomorrow